Hi, everybody. Welcome back to English for You. I'm Pat. I'm Chickling. And we're on day two about smart clothes. Our smart clothes article. Our clothes are getting smart.、Mm. They're not going to pass your tests for you, but they can do a lot because they have. Devices in them. It's very cool, and these devices make the clothes advanced and able to do new things that can help people, like follow their heart rate or check temperature, etc. Yeah, one we learned about was siren socks, and the article, which is kind of a little bit like marketing language, said they are a necessity for <laughs> diabetics, people with、uh, diabetes. A Unfortunate and quite dangerous disease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these socks can sense temperature changes, and these warn people early about problems that could cause them to lose their feet. Yeah,、um, being like having losing one's foot as a result of diabetes is not、mm. uncommon.、Uh, the blood sugar gets too high, the、yeah. blood doesn't flow properly, and that kind of thing. And the according to the article, these socks are eighty seven percent effective, so you can rely on them. <laughs> no, but this is. Basically, just sales language, right?、Yeah, some of it was. I mean, they can sales language includes、mm. some facts, but saying they're a necessity. <laughs> If you're a diabetic, you cannot live without these clever socks of yours. That's not exactly true,、yeah. but it, it, you know, it's a kind of writing, and we are going to see a lot more of this in day two as we describe some and introduce some more smart clothes. But bear in mind, they're written with a kind of marketing language here, <laughs> so you don't need to believe absolutely every. Everything、yeah. that it says. So, let's find out what kind of clothes are going to be advertised <laughs> in day two of the article. Reading. Your clothes are about to get a lot smarter. The Nani X yoga pants feature smart technology to help you with your yoga. There are sensors on some parts of the pants. Vibrations are sent to your body to let you know how to change your yoga pose. The Nadi X pants use an app to give you instructions on how to improve. They also work as your coach to guide you through yoga classes. So, whether or not you're experienced with yoga, these are the pants for you. Finally, Levi's classic trucker jacket is both super fashionable and super smart. Levi's worked with Google to bring you a jacket that can do more than just keep you warm. The jacket features a tag in the sleeve that acts as a touchpad. This allows you to control your phone apps without looking at your phone. You can do things like play your music or answer phone calls. This is a great way to stop looking at our phones and focus on the real world. So we jump straight into the kind of、uh, marketing talk for、uh, the first item. The Nadi X yoga pants feature smart technology to help you with your yoga. So these are yoga pants, so pants worn for yoga, and yoga, of course, is a mixture of exercises and breathing and kind of mind calming things that help you both improve your muscles as well as sort of deal with stress and improve your mood. It's like meditation for your body. You, that's a nice bit of advertising language. <laughs> Very yeah, good. Yoga 就是瑜伽。那这个瑜伽呢，我们常常运动就会有一个 mat， 那个垫子就叫做 yoga mat。所以这个呢 ，Nadi X 的瑜伽裤嘛， mm-hmm. 它就有智能科技，它可以帮助你做瑜伽。But how? Well, the article continues. There are sensors on some parts of the pants. So the same kind of temperature sensing things that were in the smart socks. We've got other sensors that are going to measure something else in the pants. 所以呢，它的裤子上面会有一些 sensors， 就是感应装置。那呢，我们又看到下一个文章说，下一句说 ，vibrations are sent to your body to let you know how to change your yoga pose. So vibrations are small, regular movements. Basically, think of how your phone makes a that sort of buzz without sound, and you feel it moving in your pocket when it's like it's on silent. I don't want to hear it, but I want to feel it in case I get a call. You might also feel the vibrations in the ground when there's an earthquake. 
嗯哼，所以这个震动就是 vibration。那这个字其实它有另外一个样子，它是 vibrate， 它就是手机的震动也是这个字。那它其实也可以当名词啦。And these vibrations tell you to change your pose. Right, your pose is the way you're standing. So it's how your arms and legs and head and back and so on are positioned. Are they straight or bent? Which way are they pointing and so on? There are many poses in yoga, and each of them has kind of a different purpose. For example, one well-known pose is the lotus position, which involves crossing one's legs in a special way. 嗯哼，所以呢，这个老师刚刚讲到的字 pose， 它就是姿势。pose 它也可以当动词啊，像是摆好姿势，或甚至当引起造成问题的这个动作都是可以。比如说 ，Look at the model posing on the catwalk. She is so elegant. Next, we see that this isn't all these pants do. So this this first function is like, oh, okay, I'm not quite right. The pants will buzz and make me kind of be more straight or. Go lower or stuff like that, but we also see that the Natty X pants use an app to give you instructions on how to improve. Quick note here: it's app. It's not a p p. Please don't make that mistake and keep making it. It's an app, and an app is a piece of software. It's a computer program that does one particular thing.、Uh, it's also a version of a website like Facebook or Instagram that appears on a mobile device like a phone. Yeah, so in this app, it is an application. So its full name is application. The teacher just reminded us that it is not an app; it is an app. Okay, let's look at the next sentence. The author said this app gives instructions. Right, instructions are detailed steps of how to do a particular thing, like first do this. Next, do this, and so on. Someone who knows how to do something、uh, could tell a person who doesn't know exactly what to do, and that's giving them instructions. For example, the science teacher gave the students lots of instructions before letting them start work on their own. 所以它就是指示的意思。所以我们中文有时候会说奉命行事，英文就可以用这个字 under instructions。比如说 ，He said he was under instructions to rob the bank， 代表他觉得是有人叫他去去抢劫这个银行。那这个字是名词嘛？我们把它当成动词，超级简单。我们把 i o n 拿掉，就是 instruct， 就是指示、吩咐，它就是个动词了。那在美国呢，我们说大学讲师也会说 instructor， 或者是你的教练。The article then explains more. So the、uh, article says about the pants. They also work as your coach to guide you through yoga classes. So you could just wear them at home, and it's like having a teacher right there to tell you what to do.、Oh. Because a coach is basically a teacher. It's a person who gives you instructions and tells you how to perform better. Sports teams and players have coaches who are experts. At the game, who can help out? Actors, speakers, singers, managers, and pretty much anybody could have a coach who will have lots of experience and knowledge and can tell you how you can get better at this particular thing. For example, Troy's coach said he needed to work on his fitness so he could play a whole game without getting tired. So coach, he is a coach. Don't get confused with some students get confused with couch. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so basketball coach is a basketball coach. That if is basketball coach is a tennis coach. That basketball coach is a vocal coach. That this coach this word can be a noun, meaning a professional who teaches or trains. For example, he has coached thousands of students in French. Hmm. And a coach can also be another word for like a big bus to go from point A to point B. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
，最代表呢指引你从尤加克的瑜伽课一开始呢到最后，所以就是 guide someone through something， 指导或引导某人做什么。所以这种瑜伽裤呢，就像是你的教练一样，在一旁陪着你上瑜伽课，指引你。And our sales pitch for these pants finishes by saying, "So, whether or not you're experienced with yoga, these are the pants for you."、Mm. I could be, I could do ads. <laughs> so we've got today's grammar point here: the use of whether or not, and this phrase "whether or not" is used to say that a conclusion, whatever the conclusion is, will be true. No matter what the situation is, whether something, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, you'll like wearing these gloves. So the end result is the same. <laughs> yeah, so whether 这边就是看到这个文法引导的副词短句。那这边连接词呢 ，whether 它表示不管或者是无论，它是用来修饰主要短句的，表示不论在什么情况下呢。主要子句都是成立的。那这个用法呢，常常会跟 or 连用，那就会引出两种或多种的可能性哦。那如果是 whether 引导的子句比较长，我们就会将 or not 往前移，就像是本课的句子。So whether or not you're experienced with yoga, these are the pants for you. 我们就把它移到前面。那我们再看几个句子。Whether you like it or not, you must wear your seat belt in the car. 不论你喜不喜欢呢，在车子里面你就是要系上安全带。那如果呢，我们是叙述未来的状况啊，我们的 whether 子句动词就会用现在式代替未来式。比如说 ，whether I'm on the plane or not, it will take off at 6 a.m. 不管呢，我没有在飞机上面，飞机都会在早上六点起飞。So you shouldn't be late. Exactly. Okay, time for our next piece of smart clothing. We see. Finally, Levi's classic trucker jacket is both super fashionable and super smart. So we're describing this trucker jacket. It's the kind of jacket be worn by a truck driver, kind of that sort of style.、Mm -hmm. uh, it's a classic. It is a classic jacket, and the word classic can mean judged over a period of time to be the highest quality and kind of outstanding of its kind. But specifically, when we're talking about clothes, classic means of a simple, elegant style. It doesn't really change much with fashion. It's always kind of the same, and it stays popular for a long time. And this is true when you think about a trucker jacket by Levi's. It's the sort of thing that will have been worn and will have been popular for many years. Here's another example of classic clothing. I often wear classic blue jeans because I like the way they look. 所以它就是经典的。不过呢，有时候我们也可以当很优秀的意思哦。比如说，你看到很厉害的东西，就可以说 classic， 代表它很好。那 classic 这个字呢，它当名词也可以，会有经典作品的意思，或者是经典服装。那有时候我们会在前面加上一个 the， 变成 the classics， 有古典文学名著的意思。比如说，我的小弟弟呢，他对古典文学名著超有兴趣的。你就可以说 ，My little brother is a big fan of the classics. And we also say this jacket is fashionable, right? And fashionable means that it's currently very popular. We say it's in fashion. It's the sort of thing many famous people are wearing right now. Many ordinary people are wearing. You can see it in you know movies, advertisements, you know stuff on the street, and it might well be in fashion shows as well.、Mm. Here's an example. It's quite fashionable for men to have beards these days. But it wasn't about ten years ago. I love beards,、All、so、right. sexy. <laughs> so fashionable 就是流行的或时尚的意思。那常常就会有人说 ，Wow, you are so fashion， 对不对 ？No, don't say that. <laughs> The adjective is fashionable. 对，不要再说你好 fashion 啊，其实是你好 fashionable 才对哦。那这个字呢 ，fashion 就是时尚的意思，它是名词。注意，注意，注意。那这边是 fashionable 是形容词。所以如果你说一个东西很流行，就是 in fashion。Fashion. 那如果是退流行的，就是 out of fashion。那我们再造一个句子。There is no such thing as out of fashion as long as you feel confident in what you wear。就是只要你对自己的穿着有自信呢，就没有退流行这件事情。那就知道说呢，这一种经典卡车司机夹克，老师刚刚讲的 trucker jacket， 它不只时尚又智能。Yeah, confidence never goes out of fashion. No. Okay, so here's more about the smart kind of capabilities of the jacket. We see 
Levi's worked with Google to bring you a jacket that can do more than just keep you warm. 所以超级酷！这个 Levi's 它跟 Google 呢，他们合作制作出一件不只可以帮你保暖的夹克，还可以干嘛呢 ？The jacket features a tag in the sleeve that acts as a touchpad. Oh, so the sleeve is the arm part of a shirt or sweater or any clothes you wear on the upper part of your body. Of course, you can have long-sleeved shirts or T-shirts that go down to your wrists, or short-sleeved ones that cut off just before the elbow. Here's an example of how we can use sleeve. I rolled my sleeve up before painting, so I didn't get any paint on my shirt. So sleeve 就是袖子。那老师刚刚讲到的 long sleeve 就是它的形容词。那你也可以说短袖是 short sleeves。那如果是形容词，就是把它变成 d 就好了。后面。那我们有一个片语叫做 to have something up one sleeve， 就代表说 you have secret plans or you have secret ideas。比如说呢， she thinks I'm stupid， but what she doesn't know is that I always have a plan B up my sleeve， and this sleeve has something that acts as a touchpad。To act as something means to do a particular job, be capable of doing something, even though you're not really that thing. So this tag, it's not a touchpad, it's not an actual like phone screen, but it does the same job as one. You can touch it and it'll do some action.、Mm -hmm. So therefore, we can say it acts as a touchpad. 就是作为嘛，所以比如说 ，Patty speaks perfect French. She can definitely act as the interpreter. 代表她讲法语超级好，她一定可以当你的口译员的。And of course, a touchpad is like the front of a smartphone or tablet or smart watch. It's a screen that you can touch to give commands. Not like the screen of kind of more cheaper monitors. You you can't touch them and make them do stuff.、Uh, more monitors now are getting like that,、mm -hmm. but we mean like a smartphone screen, something you can interact with. Yeah, 就是触控板。那所以这个夹克的袖子里面有一个感应装置，它是有触控板功能的。So this tag is pretty cool, as the article says. This allows you to control your phone apps without looking at your phone. To allow a person to do something is either to give them the permission or the ability to do that thing. In this case, of course, it's the ability. 所以呢，这个装置可以让你控制你手机的应用程式，你就都不用再看手机了。The article also says you can do things like play your music or answer phone calls. So cool. 所以呢，你也可以播放音乐啊，接电话。And there's an extra benefit to this, which is this is a great way to stop looking at our phones and focus on the real world. Right. So you've got this kind of thing on your arm of your shirt or this jacket, and if someone's calling you, you could just click the button. Like, yep,、yeah, I'm here. I'm speaking to you through my jacket.、Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, you want to see the weather? You can just, yep,、yeah, there it is. I'll play some music as I walk around,、mm. or something like that. You don't have to pull out your phone all the time. So it's another way to protect your eyes. Yeah, because you're, <laughs> and also it means you can look around. You focus on the real world.、Mm. To focus on something means to give it your full attention, so that you can notice everything about it. Yeah, so focus on something 就是专注于哦，所以这样子的发明可以让你们花少一点点时间在看手机上面，好好的花更多时间专注于在这个真实世界。Okay, that is our article on smart clothes. So let's now move on to today's for you chat question. For you chat. So today's question is: Which item of smart clothing would you like to create in the future, and why? Wait a minute! I'm not going to tell you my ideas. <laughs> You'll steal them. This is going to make me millions. I know. Yeah, you're so smart. Okay.、Um, no, really. What What could we create? What would be useful? You know, I mentioned my、uh, my flask yesterday, right? Yeah.、So、I'm thinking maybe I can put that function into my clothes. Okay. So maybe when I get thirsty, I can simply just. Touch something, or just talk to my clothes, and then they'll just give me water automatically. Is well, that possible? Straight into the body, I yeah, suppose. Is yes. Is that possible? Might be. They'd have to inject it. Could be painful. Yeah.、Um, how about a kind of shoes? Okay, that when it, it's got a smell sensor, and if it detects your feet are getting a little stinky, <laughs> it just kind of like. <laughs> 
psh, little bit of perfume or something、oh. comes out,、um, or maybe like a drying function.、Like um, you know, so people get problems if their feet are like always wet and sweaty.、Uh-huh. They can get like athlete's foot,、oh. this kind of you know stuff growing、mm-hmm. in between your toes. And if you had something that like warned you, okay, you're it's too wet down there. Take your feet off, dry them out, change your socks, or just you know, kind of like dehumidify well, your socks. <laughs> so so something like that in your shoes to kind of stop you getting that itchy athlete's foot problem that is such a pain to get rid of. <laughs> I know. I've had it before. I know how much of a <laughs> how annoying it is to once you've got it. It takes so long to get rid of it. And then you pass on to other members. Of yeah, your, exactly. Because、right? you're using the same bathrooms <laughs> or stuff like that. So yeah, some something to deal with that problem. I'm going to go and create these smart kind of <laughs> anti-fungal shoes. <laughs> That'll be my job. Something yeah, I like, like that. that. I think I'll just I'll, I'll purchase one. Yeah, yeah. Let that, me know. That, that'd you... be a useful item、mm-hmm. of smart clothing.、Mm-hmm. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening, everybody, for English for You. I'm Pat. I'm Chickling. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye. Bye. Vocabulary review. Pose. Gary asked the model to change her pose so that the light would shine through her hair. Instructions. Ian missed a step in the instructions for building his shelf and put a piece in the wrong place. Coach. The soccer coach arranged more training time for the team after they lost the last three games. Classic. The classic story was written 200 years ago and is still studied in colleges today. Fashionable. Kenny is looking at pictures in a magazine to see which styles are fashionable this season. Sleeve. The sleeves on Mark's sweater are too short and his arms are cold. 智慧小补帖 Yoga. Vibration. App. Application. Touchpad. The program is produced by Yong Kong Chinese Language. The Yong Kong Chinese Language magazine is available at all major bookstores. 如欲索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。